There you go. Hi. All right. Let's go on to exercise 6B, which is using a bivariate scanner plot. So exercise 6A was all about drawing um, a bivariate scatter plot um, using the ordered pairs that they had given you. Um, exercise 6B has been able to look at the scatter plot and um, describe the relationship um, that's formed with the graph between the two variables. Okay, so we need to know some key terms so that we're able to use these key terms in our description. So the first thing is the form of an association. Um, there are two forms. So we have linear form where the dots roughly form um, a straight line or a, you know, a linear line. Um, or we have a non-linear form where the points tend to follow a more curved line. Okay? So we generally say, um, you know, if something has a linear form, there is, or we can make a conclusion that there is an association or a relationship between the two variables. So that's the first thing, the form. So you've got linear or nonlinear. You need to use those two words in your description. Okay, then we have the direction of an association. So just looking at the linear form now, we have two directions that our um, lines go in. So the first one is a positive. So our dots or our line is increasing from left to right, it's going up. So the gradient of the line would be positive, so it has a positive association. Um, negative, our dots sort of form a line that's going downwards, so it's decreasing. Um, so we say that the gradient of the line is negative, um, and that's the negative um, association between the two variables. So an example of um, an increase or something that has um, a positive association would be something like um, age and height. So generally, as you get older, your height increases, or at least um, when you're an infant anyway. Um, so as your age um, increases, so does your height. So that would be an example of a positive gradient. Um, an example of something that has a negative association is, um, say, you've got um, number of people painting a house. So as you um, increase the number of painters painting the house, the time that it takes to paint the house would obviously decrease if there's more people um, painting the house. 